CompTIA A Plus Core 2, 220-1102, Practice Exam. Questions 161 through 165. This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 161. A technician is troubleshooting a remote desktop connection issue for a user's workstation. The user is unable to connect to the remote machine using RDP. The technician suspects that the firewall settings might be blocking the required port. Which of the following ports should the technician open on the firewall to enable RDP connectivity? The answer is D. 3389. Remote Desktop Protocol uses port 3389 by default. To connect to a remote computer using RDP, the firewall must be configured to allow traffic through on port 3389. If this port is blocked, the connection will fail. Opening port 3389 on the firewall lets the RDP traffic through, allowing the remote desktop connection to be established. Question 162. Which of the following operating systems would most likely use NTFS as its native file system? The answer is D. Windows. NTFS is a file system developed by Microsoft and is primarily used in their Windows operating systems. It offers several features such as support for large files, file compression, encryption, and advanced data structures to improve performance, reliability, and disk space utilization. Other operating systems may support NTFS through additional software, but it is not their default or native file system. Question 163. A technician is about to install new software on a Windows computer, which involves modifying system files and the registry. Before proceeding, they want to ensure they can revert any changes if something goes wrong. What is the best action to take before making these extensive system changes? The answer is B. Create a restore point. Before making extensive system changes, such as modifying system files and the registry, it's important to create a Windows restore point. This action provides a safety net, ensuring that the technician can recover the system without losing important data or configurations. Regularly creating restore points can save time and prevent potential system instability or failures resulting from system changes. Question 164. A technician needs to remove malware from an infected Windows laptop. They have already disconnected the device from the network. Which step should be performed next to ensure the system does not automatically return to an infected state once the malware is removed? The answer is B. Disable System Restore. After removing malware, it is crucial to prevent the system from reverting to a previously infected state. For Windows devices, one effective step is to disable System Restore, as this feature could unintentionally bring back the malware from a restore point. Disabling System Restore ensures that the malware does not reappear after a system recovery. By taking this measure, technicians can help reduce the risk of reinfection. Question 165. A user installs various applications on their macOS computer. After some time, they decide to remove one of the applications. Which of the following file types will allow the user to easily uninstall the software by dragging it to the trash bin? The answer is C. .app. A .app file is the format used for applications on macOS. It is essentially a package containing all the resources and files needed for the application to run. This self-contained nature means that the application does not spread files across the system, making it simple to manage. Because all the necessary components are housed within the .app package, removal becomes straightforward. You can simply drag these files to the trash bin, removing the entire application without needing a specialized uninstaller. So. Did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did, it's all part of the learning process. 
Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.